What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is going to be the 10 most boring states to visit by Geography King. Awesome channel Geography thing. really love the content on there so we're checking out another video today. Now this one is state, not cities. I expected it to be cities to be honest with you. Uh, when I clicked on the video in my head I read it as cities and only now really as I read the towel out to you guys, I recognise it says states which kind of changes the whole complexion of a video because a state potentially could have a good city which is very interesting to visit but the rest of the state is nothing like Wyoming for example I'm not saying it has an interesting city I'm not too sure but it's the least populated place there's not much going on in the vast majority of the state so I imagine that is probably on the list maybe even the most boring state to visit but I'd just be a guess I don't know um and it's interesting for someone like me who's wanting to visit the US and like you guys have explained to me so much, if you want to visit, let's say, Florida, California, New York, you can't go to each one in a trip. You can't really do a whole state a lot of the time in one trip. You've got to be there for a month, maybe two months to do a whole state. If you're investing that much time into a state after you've done, the, I guess, the main ones, you want to know which ones to avoid or at least the ones which will be personally I, I'll enjoy anything, but stunning views everywhere. But the ones which are not seen as boring because you want to make the most of your time. And say for you guys, you guys travel all the time in the US. I think like 6% of you don't have passports. You don't want to go to a potentially a boring state. Don't get me wrong, you may not find it boring at all. You may absolutely love your time there. It's all subjective. But if you've got an option of something which is classed as not as boring by some people's opinion, you may pick there and have a better chance of enjoying it. And not enjoying strong word, having more fun. I hope that made sense. I don't know if it did. I waffled quite a bit there. I don't know if that made sense or not. I hope it did. Hit that like button, guys. Hit that subscribe button. And yeah, let's see what the top 10 most boring states to visit actually are according to Jog Viking. Again, let me know in the comments your top three boring states and your top three best states. Let's add a bit of positivity onto this. We don't just want a bit of negativity on the boring states. Add your best ones as well in the comments, guys. Howdy. Hello, it's Kyle with a video counting down the 10 least- Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm 99% sure every Kyle video on John Viking, he said, howdy. Is Kyle here? No? Oh, I thought I was so clever saying howdy. Am I wrong? I might be completely wrong. I may just made that up in my head. Maybe I dreamt it last night or something, just dreaming of John Viking. I'm a bit disappointed. I got that absolutely wrong. Let me know in the comments if it does normally say howdy. I think it does. Interesting states to visit while on a road trip. And this isn't designed to be some kind of flaming attack on these states. I'm not trying to pee on their campfire. There is a practical use to this video. And that's if you're on a road trip, you can't yep. see it all. The country is just too big. So Very if you're going to be gone for, say, two or three weeks, you have to make cuts somewhere. I've been on more than 20 cross-country road trips. Wow. I've learned a lot about what are the best places to visit. And so in this video, I want to count down the 10 least interesting states to visit. Let's go. Before I start, I'd like to say that I did not include for consideration the micro states of Rhode Island and Delaware. They're just okay. too small. It wouldn't be fair to compare them to the others from a road trip perspective. You sneeze when you're going through it. By the time your eyes open, you're into the next state. So I didn't include those for this list. But without further ado, let's get to the countdown. Oh, no. And number enough. 10 is Illinois. And Illinois is a state that has two very different sides of the coin. You've got Chicago and then the rest of the state. And I do think that Chicago is a great place to visit. And I highly yeah, recommend definitely. stopping there on your road trip. There's just so much stuff to see and do there. You'll have a great time, especially if you're interested in visiting big cities. And I know that it's been in the, in the news a lot lately because all the high beautiful. crime and shooting is going on in the city. But unless you're going down to the ghetto to buy drugs or you're hanging out with gang members, you're no more likely to be a victim of crime in Chicago than anywhere else in the U.S. So oh, wow. okay. do not visit there because of some of the stuff you see on the news. But other than Chicago, there really isn't any other must-see or must-stop at attraction in the state. You do have some pretty interesting sites in Illinois. You've got the Abraham Lincoln Museum and Presidential Library in Springfield. You have the John Deere World Headquarters. You can take the factory tours there. And they got the Visitor Center in Moline. And in Peoria, you have the Caterpillar Headquarters. You can take factory tours there too. And you know, overall, okay. Peoria is a you know a nicer town than you might expect. But you know, Illinois as a state is just not as terribly interesting as others. So, you know, other than Chicago, there really is no other, you know, required stop for a road trip. So that's why I have Illinois ranked at number 10. Fair enough. But again, it's all subjective. Some people might really want to go to the John Deere um, 
place for Abraham Lincoln Museum as well. I imagine a lot of people just want to go there. So if you're on a road trip, you may go to Chicago because I imagine it's fantastic to go there on a trip and visit it. Um, and then you may pop to the museum. And if you really like your tractors, you may pop to the John Deere thing. So it's like... Maybe it isn't boring to everyone. You know what I mean? It is all subjective. And I know you guys will be letting me know that in the comments, but that's a perfect example there. There's three things in separate locations which can be deemed as interesting to some people and not to others. So, yeah, no, I rate that. At number nine is North Dakota. And North Dakota is a lot like Illinois and that I think there's one really great attraction to see. Okay. But the rest of the state, this really isn't that terribly interesting. Theodore Roosevelt National Park in the western part of the state is wonderful. It looks I love beautiful. visiting there. It's one of my favorite national parks in the country. But that really is about the only spot worth seeing in North Dakota. Oh, the man. The largest city, Fargo, the college town, Grand Forks, and the capital, Bismarck, are just kind of boring and not worth going out of your way to visit. So unless you're specifically interested in visiting Theodore Roosevelt National Park, I can't really recommend going that far out of the way to include North Dakota on your road trip. You're not likely to be including I-94 as part of your road trip. So it's just it's just really far out of the way. If you want to do kind of an outdoors oriented trip where you're visiting mostly national parks and you want to incorporate the Dakotas in that trip, I do have a video on that. You might want to check out about, you know, road tripping in that part of the country. But oh, wow. other than that, I can't really recommend going that far out of the way to visit North Dakota. It's just not that terribly interesting. And that's why I have it ranked at number nine. Fair enough, can't argue with that. At number eight is Indiana. And Indiana does have a few decent sites, but nowhere that would be required to make your road trip the best it can possibly be. Indianapolis nice. is an okay city. There's nothing terribly it, yeah. wrong with it, but it's also kind of bland for a big city. So Again, when you're looking at the skylines, it, you can tell just looking at the skyline whether it's a city you need to visit. I imagine it's a beautiful city anyway, but the skyline in America, at least for the cities, it's a punchy thing. It's a thing what attracts you. And um, when it's only got a few potentially high skylines and stuff like that, especially as a, um, an architectural student myself, being like in New York, all the architectural history in New York, it was a must. I had to go there. I wanted to go there anyway. And uh, there's definitely quite a few on my list with amazing skylines as well, which I've got to do. So unless you're specifically interested in visiting the Motor Speedway and the Auto Racing Hall of Fame, which it was a pretty cool attraction, but it's also yeah, it a niche that. attraction. So if you're not interested in that, and I really can't recommend stopping in Indianapolis, the medium-sized cities of South Bend and Fort Wayne and Evansville are also pretty bland and not worth stopping at. There are a couple of decent natural sites in the state. You've got the Indiana Dunes area in the northwestern corner and the Hoosier National Forest in the southern part of the state. But again, oh, wow. neither one of these are required to make your road trip the best it can possibly be. So yep. Indiana overall as a state is pretty boring. So that's why I have it ranked at number eight. Fair enough. At number seven, I, again, like I said, don't take offense to this. If, if this was done on England and it went to my hometown, Waltham, it would be scribbled off a list. And, but I absolutely love the place. But people wouldn't go there as an attraction to visit to get to know England. They just wouldn't. But I love the place. So don't take it Percy, please, because he's just been savage saying, yeah, Indiana, it's pretty boring. <laughs> Seven is Alabama. And there's nothing terribly wrong with the state as a whole, but the recurring theme of this list is that, you know, there are going to be a few decent things to see in each state, but no yeah. that would be required to make your road trip complete. The biggest city is Birmingham. And my wife and I actually like going down to Birmingham every now and then, but we also only live two hours from there. So it isn't that big of a deal for us to visit. But if you're on a cross-country road trip, I can't recommend stopping there. The oh, coastal city of Mobile is kind of cool. You know, it's a historic southern city along the Gulf, but there are better historic southern cities to see like Charleston or Savannah. So yep. I can't really recommend stopping in Mobile. And you got Montgomery. Just just skip it. Huntsville is kind <laughs> oh, wow. of okay. you got the, you know, the NASA Rocket Center and the Space Camp is there. So if you're interested cool. in NASA kind yep. of stuff, it can be pretty cool. But Definitely. You know, there are some decent state parks and natural areas in the northern part of the state as well. But overall, Alabama, not that terribly interesting. So that's why I have it ranked number seven. And I just want to say as well, Birmingham in the UK probably isn't worth visiting. So if it translates that way, then I can understand why it's number seven on the list. Coming in at number six is Oklahoma. And with Oklahoma being right in the middle of the country, there's a pretty good chance you're going to be driving right through it on your road trip. But okay. There really isn't anywhere that is a must-see, no standout attraction where you just have to stop at on your road trip. I've been to Oklahoma many times. I often end up stopping there on my own road trips. 
It's about a perfect day's drive from where I live, so I often stay in a motel in Oklahoma City, or if the weather's nice, I'll be camping at Lake Eufaula State Park about an hour east. Oh, man, look it's at that. It's a really nice state park, but it certainly isn't somewhere you have to stop on your road trip. Um, Oklahoma City is surprisingly a pretty boring city for you know how big it is. The downtown's okay, the Bricktown historic area is okay, but there just really isn't a whole oh, lot wow, to see Oh, wow, look at there. that. Uh, you may be interested in seeing the memorial to the terrorist attack there, but that really isn't a tourist attraction. But it might be something you you know you're curious about seeing. Oh man, respects to definitely. Um, Tulsa might be the single most boring city in the country between 500,000 and a million people. It's it's just a pretty boring place. Not much to do there unless you're interested in seeing the crazy architecture on the campus of oh, wow. Roberts University. And there's some pretty crazy stuff there. But there oh really my isn't God. much reason to go to Tulsa. There are some nice wilderness areas in the southeastern part of the state, but with so many nice wilderness areas in other parts of the country, I really can't recommend going out of your way to see those in Oklahoma. So overall, Oklahoma, pretty boring state, not that terribly interesting. That's why I have it ranked at number six. No, no, but I, just, I think that should be a little bit higher. That should be like an eight or a nine because some of our architects was mental and you've got to give respect to that. So I think it's a little bit too low for my liking after seeing that. But um, I never knew Tulsa was in Oklahoma as well. That's something new because isn't that from Friends as well? And I never knew it was Oklahoma. Learned something new there. This is why this video is helping. It's telling me not what states not to go to first. I want to go to all of them eventually. In theory, I do want to visit all of them. I don't know whether I can or not, but it's telling me to which ones to not go to first. And if it happened that I couldn't go to everyone, potentially miss these ones out. But then... You, there's other reasons you go for maybe Super Bowl games and stuff like that. You never know. I may make myself there one day. You never know. At number five is Nebraska. And okay. Nebraska is a huge state. If you're driving across it along I-80, you swear you're never going to leave the state. It just goes on oh, wow. forever. It's a really long drive, and it's boring the entire way. But actually, I do personally really like the northwestern corner of the state. It's really beautiful. Some of my favorite scenery in the entire country, but it is really far out of the way. And I definitely do not recommend going that far out of the way just to see it. It, it looks pretty beautiful, boring though. for most people. And I also do like Omaha. It's a pretty cool city. There's a nice downtown historic area, nice. nice riverfront area. There's a pretty cool pedestrian bridge that goes across Ooh, the man. Missouri River into Iowa. And you have a world-class zoo there as well. But with Omaha really being the only place we're stopping at in this entire huge state, the overall state of Nebraska ends up being pretty uninteresting. That's why I have it ranked at number five. Fair enough. At number four is West Virginia. And there's really nothing in the state that is super interesting and would be required to see to make your road trip the best it can possibly be. It's just kind of a dull, bland state. About the only reason you'd really even be remotely interested in visiting the state is just to see how bad it can possibly get. <laughs> it's kind of like the, the rural version of Detroit. That's absolutely brutal, man. You can have pass it to see how bad it is. That's awful, man. You know, some folks like to visit Detroit just to see how bad a city can be. And wow. all the folks that live there hate that other people do that. But it is kind of interesting oh in my that God. regard. But West Virginia is kind of like the country version of that. Just kind of like how bad can it possibly get in this country? It's the closest thing we have to the third world in the U.S. And it's just oh, kind of awful sad, to see, really. man. Definitely, when yeah. When you first drive through it, some of these small towns, you kind of start to laugh a little bit. But then after a while, it's like, whoa, this is really bad. And it's just kind of depressing, really. Yeah, so definitely. From a road trip perspective, I can't really recommend stopping there. You know, Charleston's an okay city. It's kind of a, you know, it's kind of bland for a capital city. Um, and the other towns okay. in the state are just like, whoa. This is really, really bad. So I really can't recommend stopping in West Virginia. It's just not that terribly interesting of a state. That's why I have it ranked at number four. We got that description for number four, and there's still three more states to go. Like, how much is he going to throw shade at the other three states? Coming in at number three is Mississippi. And in my okay. opinion, Mississippi is the least interesting state in the south. All the other southern states either have some nice mountains and national parks or state parks, or they have some nice beaches or big cities or something that's of interest to the road tripper, but Mississippi really has none of that. There are a couple of interesting historic sites, like Vicksburg has some Civil War history there and some oh, you know, wow, historic nice. houses and stuff and Natchez, but there really isn't much of interest in Mississippi. You know, the casino towns of Tunica and Biloxi, why? Why? And Jackson might be the, the nastiest capital city in America, there just really isn't much to offer for Mississippi, so just go ahead and plow right through it. It's not like you're going to get back home and tell your friends you didn't stop in Mississippi, and they'll be like, what? What's wrong with you? Why didn't you stop there? So <laughs> Mississippi's pretty lame, not that interesting. That's why I have oh, a rank at number three. Again, at no if you're there, you, 
you can absolutely love it. It's just from a tourist attraction, I guess. It's not really inviting in. But if you end up there, I'm sure you'll have just as much fun as you would in another state. It just doesn't have the attractions to get you there. I think that, I think that makes sense. I think that's right in saying, I hope. <laughs> Number two is Iowa. And Iowa is a perfectly fine state. The people there are nice and friendly, but, you know, it's also a really boring state. Wow, It'll man. take you a long time to drive across it along I-80. It's huge, and it's also just, just such a boring drive. Bring plenty of Mountain Dew with you. You're going to be going through a lot of it. There just really isn't much to see there. And I'm not sure what the top tourist attraction in the state is, but whatever it is, you can skip it. It's not that terribly interesting. You know, Des Moines is actually larger and more cosmopolitan than you might expect, but it it's not somewhere you have to stop. You're yeah. not going to shoot yourself in the foot for skipping it. And I'm not trying to put Iowa down. I'm sure a lot of people in Iowa are proud of the fact that it's boring and proud of the fact that people just drive right through it and don't stop. But as far as road tripping goes, it is a pretty lame state. It's pretty boring. Go ahead and drive right through Iowa. It's the second least interesting state in the country. It's got to be Wyoming. Wyoming has to be number one. But when Geography King doesn't know your number one attraction, he knows everything. He's been so many places. It does kind of spell that it's going to be number two on my list. But number one has to be Wyoming, right? It's talk about vast land, not much there. I don't think there's anything huge of significance in Wyoming unless I'm being an absolute idiot. I think I finally predicted a number one on this list, surely. And at number one, the least interesting state to visit on a road trip is Kansas. Oh, I wow. Think- I did not see that coming. Again, I'm thinking of some of these states for American football and stuff like that as well. Um, but I, sh- I I was dead certain it was going to be Wyoming. Okay, wow. Yeah, anything in Kansas that is worth visiting for the road tripper, it's just an incredibly boring state. And when you combine that with the fact that it is an enormous state too, it is huge. It'll take you forever to drive across it. And that just makes it even worse. And you might think about, say, Dodge City, the old west town, but... It's so oh, nice. far off the interstate, and by no means is it worth going that far out of the way to visit. Look at fact, that. I discourage going that far out of the way to visit. It's just kind of lame, and there are better places. Unless you enjoy that stuff. I don't want to be putting anyone down who enjoys that stuff, because if you enjoy it, go that far out of the city. Go and enjoy it, man. Just to see Old West history if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Yep. Um, the biggest city is Wichita, which is just not interesting at all. I mean, why would you be going to Wichita? It's not that terribly exciting, and the whole state is just pretty boring. And I mean, no offense to Kansas or the people there. It's just your state is really boring, and there's really nothing to offer for the road trip or so. That's why I have Kansas ranked as the least interesting state to stop at on your road trip. And there you have it, the 10 least interesting states to visit on a road trip. And of course, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Pretty brutal on some states, but I think if you live there, you shouldn't be really offended. I won't be offended if someone said that about my town because I know I enjoy it because I live there. And at the end of the day, right, the main thing is, no matter where you are in the world, unless you're somewhere really, really awful, if you've got your mates, if you've got a company, you can have a fantastic time. But the idea of this video is the attractions, what's more appealing. So for someone like me who's never been to, well, I've been to America once, who wants to explore, wants to see all the big things first and then wants to look at these places, it can avoid the ones where there isn't much going on in terms of from a tourist point of view. And then eventually you can see it because these towns will have the true American lives in there, which will be pretty awesome, not a touristy area, which will be pretty awesome to see, I think, from my perspective as well. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments as well. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys weren't too upset if your state was on this list. Have a fantastic day, guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace.